Okay, so we're just gonna rip these into small pieces. Okay, so the next step is to pick your bowl, and I think I'm gonna go with the larger bowl. So then you just flip it over, spray some of this on top, grease it down, and then add cling wrap. We're going to put our toilet paper rolls that have been soaking into a blender. This is an old blender I only use for crafts now. And we're going to turn that into pulp. It's probably good. It looks like that. It's kind of gross. Okay, so here's what I ended up with. And then let's move this out of the way. And then we're gonna add one to one ratio with Mod Podge and joint uh, compound. Just gonna break it up a bit. Crumble it up, it looks like hamburger meat now. <laughs> Okay, so next we're gonna take our Mod Podge. We're gonna pour a little bit of this in here. And we're gonna take our joint compound. I'm gonna put some of this in here. Let's mix all this up and see what happens. what I ended up with. It looks like that. Now we're just gonna smush it all around the bowl. Just work my way down the sides and see how far I can go because I'm not sure I have enough to go all the way to the bottom. So I switched to a smaller bowl. I was using this larger one and I didn't have enough pulp made. So I have it on the bowl and now I'm gonna make the, I'm gonna make a circle on the top. Let's see if I can center this. So just kind of imprinted the marks on there to give me a guideline. And I'm gonna take little wads of pulp 
and go around. <laughs> it's really kind of fun. looking so my bowl didn't exactly work out <laughs> it had a big crack in it so this is round two so I'm gonna um, make some more pulp and just add to my bowl to make it a little bit thicker I thought I had enough but I tried to like um, spread it as much as I could and I spread it too thin so making some more pulp and then I will add it to my bowl. Okay, so here's my bowl <laughs> and it's broke. It broke right here. So it's dry, it's, it's hard, like you can pick it up and stuff, but I'm gonna add some more to it and kind of build it up a little bit. So that's what it's looking like so far. Okay, so here's how it looks. This is after my second application, and I just flipped it so I could take the bowl out. So it's still drying, still still feels a little bit wet. Hopefully it doesn't break like it did last time. I did it too soon, so hopefully I waited long enough on this one. I'm so scared. I don't want it to break again. I really am so scared. Oh, there it goes. It's coming. It's coming. Ah, yay. Came out perfect. Yeah, so we're going to let that dry, continue drying. I just have a kind of a little crack here. Maybe I can fix it when I start painting it. But... I think it looks so good. So my inspiration for this came from a YouTuber. Her name is Tina and I'll have to add her name um, somewhere up here or in the description. Um, her channel is so good. I love watching the crafts that she makes. She's really good. Um, so I'll have to add that, but that's where I got this idea from. And I think it turned out great. I cannot wait to paint it. I'm gonna let it dry for the rest of the day. Probably paint it tomorrow. to sprinkle some cloves and cinnamon in my bowl so that's what I'm doing now had some that I used in another project
I love how it turned out. I have it sitting in my living room on some books and I just love how it looks.